Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of March. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the Six of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Seven of Wands upright. And next we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Five of Cups in the upright. Next we have the King of Pentacles reversed, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright, followed by the Eight of Wands reversed. Next we have Major Arcana of the Moon in the reverse, followed then by um, Pajama Man, <laughs> the Knight of Wands in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hanged Man in reverse. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Taurus, you have for your overall energy the Six of Swords in the upright position. The Six of Swords is all about moving on. It can represent literal move. So maybe some of you are actually moving this month. Others of you could be uh, taking a trip. Maybe you're going to visit, going home for a visit, or maybe some of you are going abroad or just taking a, a trip. Could be on vacation, what have you. For others of you, this could just be you uh, feeling it's time maybe to emotionally move on from a situation. Perhaps if you've been dealing with something that's been a bit of a struggle on the emotional front, you're, um, you're just thinking now it's time maybe to move on from that energy. So to have the Six of Swords in the upright position, this is really good, I think, um, for your overall energy because that will be around for the entire month of March. Now, crossing you is the Seven of Wands in the upright position. The Seven of Wands is very defensive energy. Now, this could, there could be a lot of reasons for the defense. Uh, it's just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you could be feeling a little bit defensive in a relationship. Others of you could be feeling defensive in general if you're dealing with the legal system or something like that. Maybe you're feeling like you're being put on the spot and you have to defend yourself. For others of you, this could be protection, protecting yourself, protecting your privacy, or protecting someone else. Um, again, there's many. There's going to be many reasons for it. I'm reading for a lot of different Tauruses out there. And in your past energy, this could have been something from a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago. We have the energies Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position. Nine of Pentacles upright. This is a strong, independent person who um, is feeling really good on the financial front, feel, feeling very stable uh, on the relationship front, that kind of thing. When the card is inverted like this, this could be uh, something happening to shake our stability. Uh, something going wrong, something happening uh, maybe in our jobs because uh, the Nine of Pentacles in the upright can represent where we're doing really well in our jobs and perhaps getting a raise or something like that. When it's inverted like this, maybe some of you didn't get the raise you expected or it wasn't as much as you wanted or hoped for. Some of you could be dealing with um, downsizing in your job, maybe job losses, that kind of thing. But this is past energy it would have already happened others of you could just be representing struggling a little bit with your finances thank heavens that's in the past <laughs> and your present energy leaving the month of april coming into the month of march with the energies of the five of cups in the upright position the five of cups is a little bit of that pity party energy where we're focusing more on what we've lost than looking at what we still have left over um, the Five of Pentacles, or the Five of Cups, rather, is about, uh, it speaks of loss and disappointment and sorrow. Um, this can be, it's, again, it's a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. It could be due to, you know, feeling disappointment due to a loss of uh, income or due to a loss of a uh, pet or a loss of uh, friendship or relationship, what have you. But there's some sadness and disappointment and a tendency to look at what's going on because usually when the Five of Pentacles, or the Five, I keep calling it the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups is in the upright. This represents where it's fresh, that it's just kind of happened. Maybe this just happened for you, uh, Taurus, coming out of April, and then this is, you know, just something you're dealing with. It's still kind of fresh. So you haven't had time to go into the Five of Cups reverse. That will probably come later, the healing energy. 
But um, you move out of that and you're moving into this energy, the King of Pentacles in the reverse position. King of Pentacles, upright, this is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. And uh, when the King of Pentacles is in the upright position, this can he can also represent a uh, financial advisor, a boss, um, or a real estate agent, or things like that. So anything, because Pentacles govern the tangible things in life, right? So um, when he's in the upright position, this is a position where the person is able to help you, wants to help you, uh, help you obtain a, a loan, a mortgage, a job, that kind of thing or even help you with your finances. When the card is inverted like this, and because it is earth energy, this could even be you yourself, maybe you're struggling to get back on uh, solid financial or security ground again. Um, this can, the King of Pentacles can represent to a delay. Remember, Mercury is retrograde uh, for most of March. So maybe this is a delay, maybe you're waiting to hear back from your financial advisor, your banker, or, um, a, a boss or somebody in a position to help you um, with your security or finances or even if this is a love interest say perhaps this person is not coming through to offer you anything substantial just yet anyway the delays again could be due to the mercury retrograde now moving on towards the middle of the month we have the energies of the ace of pentacles in the upright position this is good news taurus because for any of you who are struggling perhaps with loss of job or loss of income or anything like that this is here to tell you that around the middle of the month things could change around for you there could be an offer coming to you from the universe sometimes the ace of pentacles can be um, an offer of inheritance or extra money or uh, just money coming to you out of the blue that you didn't expect. This can also represent an, an investment opportunity. Maybe you have um, somebody come around and, and let you know about a great stock tip or about a great piece of real uh, real estate and you could invest in it and then you know end up getting a lot of dividends down the road. Or this could definitely represent um, like a job opportunity for those of you who are looking for work and that comes out. And sometimes with the aces, this is new beginnings, but a lot of times they can come out of the blue where you're just like wow where did that come from so that's really good news i'm very happy to see that in the reading after the uh nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles reversed here so it looks like whatever you're struggling with maybe at the beginning of the month there's a bit of a turnaround around the middle of the month now this is you internally this is how you're feeling in the month of march and we've got the eight of uh, wands in the reverse position again this could be speaking about the mercury retrograde when the card is in the upright this represents a lot of communication back and forth we're putting out our resumes and we're getting a lot of uh returns like a lot of communication back and forth when the card is inverted like this this can represent delays it's coming up in the position of you internally though it could be you yourself taurus maybe you're the one um not responding to people maybe they're trying to get a hold of you and you don't want to respond or you can't respond to them for some reason um, yeah, you just don't seem to be wanting to communicate, or it could be that you're just trying to work on your uh, finances and your work life right now, and you're focused there, and you don't really want to communicate with others, or it could be a lack of um, travel opportunities. Maybe you just don't want to take them at this time, because we do see the card of travel here for your overall energy. Perhaps there is an opportunity to travel, and maybe you just don't want to do it at this time. Now, in your people environment, we have Major Arcana, the moon in the reverse position. The moon in the upright, this is that very illusion, very confusing because it's illusionary energy. And we just don't know what's what when the card is in the upright position. When the card is inverted like this, this is coming up in your people environment uh, sector. So this could be you uh, learning the truth or getting clarity or becoming unconfused about a situation. This could be about your finances, about your uh, relationship, about uh, family. It's going to play out different for all of you. But there is clarity coming and it could be coming from someone in your environment. You see the truth about something or you see the truth about somebody who's in your environment. This could be a you know, co-worker, boss, family, friend. Um, 
Yeah, it could be pretty much anybody who's in your environment, even a neighbor. You could be seeing the truth about this person or getting to the bottom of the situation. And your hopes and fears position, we have the Knight of Wands in the upright position. The Knight of Wands, this is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, the uh, Knight of Wands here, he comes in very quickly and makes an offer. Sometimes it could be a passionate offer about something. Now, it could be this is what you're hoping for. You're hoping for maybe a person to, you know, swoop in and kind of uh, make a, pa a passionate offer or have a one night stand or something like that with them. Or for others of you, maybe you're just hoping for an offer or an opportunity to um, to uh, start something new or get an offer on, you know, your business or your home or something like that. You're hoping for some kind of offer or maybe it's a person that you're hoping that they come through for you. Now, the last card you have that closes the read and closes the month for you is Major Arcana, the Hanged Man in the reverse position. Hanged Man upright, this is where we need to sort of cool our jets for a little while. We need to take a step back and look at a situation from a different perspective. And we have to wait. It's a very... Uh, like we're suspended there that we can't move sometimes it's due to other people sometimes it's just due to our own self we don't feel ready uh, we need to look at the situation differently when the card is inverted however though this is where we're, we're we're coming out of that so it looks like at the end of the month Taurus you end up coming out of that stage of looking at things from a different perspective we do see clarity coming here for you coming through the environment so it could be that that's what's going on you see the situation from a different perspective so now you're ready to move for others of you it could be because mercury starts moving forward at the end of the month and all of this um stuck energy here starts moving forward again so you return back to the land of the living so that is your reading taurus i hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i will see you next time bye bye